Hi Stampin' Friends! Tonight we're going to use a variety of different designer series paper. Um, some from the um, Celebrate Everything um, that is the Hostess paper. Um, some that's from the Black and White Designs designer series paper. And some is this Cottage Gingham paper. So I'm just trying to like pull out what I think is super Halloween from those things and um, show you some different ways to use them. I'm also going to use, um, I'm going to do several little treat holder possibilities, um, just, well, two, and um, just show a few little tips tonight. So I hope that you enjoy. First thing I wanted to show you is just kind of remind you how cute the white gingham white and black gingham is when you color it with the blends with the Stampin' blends and um, it looks really great with the cottage um, paper now I made this little box now my goal with it was to hold a you could put a, several little pieces of candy or you could put the Bath and Body Works um, hand sanitizer in it so, the way I did this, I just wanted to show you real quick, and I don't know, it might be easier to see, I'm thinking it is, easier to see with this piece of crumb cake that I've used. So, what it is, is a piece of paper that is six and a quarter by five and three quarters. So, six and a quarter this way, five and a quarter, five and three quarters this way. On this six and a quarter side, it is scored at one, three, four, and six. Then on the five and three quarter side, it is scored at one half, one and a half, four and a quarter, and five and a quarter. So the goal with this would be um, getting this into a box. So the things that you cut off, I don't want to make you sit and watch me do this, but I actually have not done any um, putting this together yet. Um, I didn't do either end. All I did was put a piece of our tear tape on one side. So let me show that real quick here. So you'll tear tape this side. And then you're basically just going through and cutting some of these pieces. So you'll cut, and it kind of makes sense. You just need to leave, let's see, I'll try to, maybe I can just tell you this. Of course you need to leave a flap on the top. And then you're gonna wanna cut off the other side. So as long as you kind of do these the same, like you'll leave, leave these two flaps, because when you fold it, let's see here, on the score lines, this is what will help. You can seal it like this and you'll cut this completely off here because what you're going for then is a nice open side. You'll cut every, all of these flap pieces off except for the main flap piece, the piece that goes down in there. And you'll do it the same on the top and the bottom. And then these side pieces, you'll just miter those corners, just ch -ch -ch and ch -ch -ch. now I would go ahead and just cut off here on this end because you don't need the, that piece to be overlapping. It would make an extra piece hanging in here. So I hope that makes sense. I'm just gonna go ahead and close this back up so that I can show you a little bit of decorating here. Okay, so one thing, one tip I wanted to show you here is if I had cut these out with the pumpkin dies that I have, just trying to you know use this with some things that you already have, um, it would be a little bit too tall for my box, and it would be fine to I could put my sentiment in the middle here. But what I did on this was I recut, I cut them out, and then I took off a little bit trying to get it fairly even off of the bottom side of each of these so that I could have a shorter pumpkin that takes up a little bit less space. And then I would put my little stem under there and my little vining piece. And then I would be able to put 
my if you've got it haunted or something like that on here would be really cute also if you had um, some letters and you could spell boo or spooky or something like that um, and so you can see there that you would just you could just make this fall it doesn't have to be black and orange you could use the pumpkin with some of the fall papers and that would be gorgeous of course and you could put blessings or one of those kind of things on there and that would be super cute like for example wishing you the loveliest day something like that okay so that is one possibility then you could also put these i wanted to show you this one i haven't done anything to yet because i wanted to kind of show you how i go about wrapping these what i typically want to do is not go all the way to the one end on one of them but then make sure that the other one does nearly reach the edge so that we have a nice um, nice overlap. So what I did on this was I used a piece of seven inch by two and a half to go around this box. And then I just took my paper and lined it up by one side even with the edge and then just tried to get it as straight as I could and then fold it. Now you can score these but I hesitate to score number one because designer series paper is a little bit thin and I don't want to cause any kind of tears and for another I want to um, make it where it fits this exactly. Sometimes maybe I have um, not got this exactly square or I've not got it exactly like I want it but if I just go ahead and fold this around the box then it will always look neat so that's kind of my point with this and then I wanted to show you that you could use maybe this side let me go ahead and do that flip it around this way or I've already kind of etched it to the box there and this paper that comes with the um let's see did I have one here maybe I oh here we go this paper that's what I was looking for to show you that is with the celebrate everything it has these adorable little um uh, ghosts and jack-o-lanterns so I thought this would be super cute to use with your um with this paper this other paper that's got the orange with it and to give it an even more halloween kind of a look so i thought that would be one that you might use you put a spell on me or you might use the if you've got it haunt it which i think is kind of the best there and then several of the little ghosts and i just cut these by hand um just you know fussy cutting and easy so there you can see that that just makes kind of an easy look. So I just think that this would make a sweet little wrap up. Now, a couple of things. Sorry, I should have glued this down to make it easier because I was wanting to show you a couple of things with the paper. I mean, with the ribbon. You could just put this on the top of the ribbon, just cutesy. But you can also, if you want to make it like it's dangling from this, you could put this around the top using some glue dots or um, or you could use the tear tape you know this this tear tape that's on this um, and wrap it around here and of course you could make this box into let's see if I can kind of show you there into a have where it has a little handle on the top so kind of cutesy on that and then let's see I also used this paper which I think this Harlequin is really nice and has a nice um, look to it now you could color this with your sponge daubers or with your um, sponges you know our big these guys our big spongy deals and you could make it purple you can make it a lot of different colors if you wanted it to have a little more halloween look but with this one what i did also was use my blends so i just did a repeat of orange green purple orange orange green purple orange orange green purple so <laughs> if that makes sense and I think that looks really great as well. Just kind of gives it more, um, more Halloween kind of a kind of a look. 
And um, it would be great, I think, with this one to probably choose one of these colors, use a um, circle, and then put these guys on it. And then with the, if you've got it, on it kind of a thing. That, okay, so that is that little um, possibility. Put that aside. And I wanted to show you this one. Now, what I was doing with this was just trying to make a slightly larger container. So let me push some things out of the way there. All right. And this one is 11 inches long, which means the reason I try to use things that stop at 11 inches, I could get this out. I wouldn't, this is designer series paper, but I could use cardstock. That's kind of my point with using the 11 inch length. And in this direction, it's seven inches. So what I did was score it underneath at two, just that, to make the bottom. And then I scored down the sides. And the first thing, let's see, let me do it here where I can kind of see what I'm doing. Okay, I scored at a half. And then I scored, you know, you just kind of, whatever you want your repeat to be, whatever you think is wide enough, and so I scored at a quarter, at a half, then I scored at three and a quarter, then I scored at five and three quarters, and then nine. So the thing is, when you run this through your Big Shot, what you need to do is put your, this is what I chose to use was a little pumpkin die cut. Again, it's from the Happy Harvest, and I just ran this part through. Now it will kind of put a little bit of a mark on this, but that's the bottom. So I decided I didn't care. And then there are two ways that you can then use this hole that I have here. You can easily just fill this in on the back using again our little tear tape and put a piece of acetate or whatever you wanna call it on the back, then you can fill it up, you know, put something in it that's wrapped and it'll be fine. But you could also put something in a bag inside like some candy corn, which I actually believe the candy corn probably would look better with the solid orange on the outside. So you could put your candy corn on the inside and that would be cute as well. So let's go ahead and just finish this up. So what I'm gonna do here is just use my, whoopsie, there we go. Use my little bone folder and just kind of get these scored smoothly. There we are. Gosh, I've got so many things there. Sorry. And then I'm going to want to put this together like this. So I'm going to put my tear tape on the outside. So let's grab this real quick. I've got another one here. Thank goodness because I'm almost out. All right, try to keep it straight. And you wanna to try to keep it not on the fold because you don't want it to poke out at all. You don't want it to get any on the edges. But I'm just trying to going sort of along the fold here, close to it, rather than close to the inside. And then right here at this, I want it to tear. So I'm gonna pull that up. And then I'm just gonna flip this over and I'm going to have this folded and then, do, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, you can see them. So what I'm doing is putting this kind of even with the edge here. And of course I wanna keep it even up here at the top because I don't want it to be doing strange things. Okay, so then just like that. Now at this point, I'm gonna need to cut my bottom pieces. So I've got my scissors here and I'm just gonna cut along this line and along this line up to the bottom of the box, which is, it, there are times it's easier to see this. So I wanna be careful and stop at the, at the score line. There we are. Okay, so then basically what I'm doing is just folding in these side pieces and then the bottom piece, and then the piece on top of it, whichever one you're gonna do. Since this is where my little kind of um, funny piece is where I, where I ran this die through, I'm gonna put that one underneath. 
but I just want to make sure that I don't have it too much showing, and I don't. It's, it's kind of got a little room there. So what I'm going to do with this piece is just take... Now this one, I definitely want to use two pieces of my tear tape because I don't want to take any chances. Oh, and I have run out. Okay, let's pretend I have more tear tape. I guess I will see what I can grab here. Oh, good. Here's another roll. Very nice. Very nice. Probably brand new. Okay. And then I'm going to put the other one over here. And if you really want it to be sturdy, you could probably put another piece in the middle. But I'm also going to get a piece over on this side so that it will hold it together with these guys. Because I don't want those coming up any um, while it is being used. So I'm just going to put this one in the middle. Because remember, this is the inside. I want this one on the inside. Okay. So I did that. Got these guys pushed in. Pushing that down. And then I'm just going to take my hand through this whatever shape. you, Because you could cut this with any shape um, that you have a die for. I was just trying to come up with something cutesy for Halloween. And then I'm just tearing this. Whoa, that kind of tore in a weird way. Okay, there we go. And then, stuck on my hand, lots of fun. Okay, and I'm just making sure that I have that pushed to the inside. And then, any little bits like this that you get on there, you probably wanna get those off because it might uh, make a lump. We don't want lumps. And then I'm just trying to make sure that the box looks square. You know, it looks like everything's 90 degree angles. Then I'm gonna use my phone folder again and just mash down on the inside so that things are nicely sealed. Okay, so does that make sense? Now, at this point, you can leave it like this and it, it is a little bag for your stuff. You can also go ahead and pinch these in and make it into like a bag that has been, um, that's like for um, like a grocery sack or something. Then what I did here since I know that my length here is just a little over five inches, I can do the same with this and I can, with some cardstock, and then all I did here was use one of the border dies, just whichever, probably not the clouds, that would be a little strange unless you had a cloud theme going on, um, but you can then adhere this to the back side and with your little bins and then just fold this over. Now. You could use, um, punch this through here with um, either a hole punch or with a crop -a dial some kind of a thing to make this into um, something you can put a bow on. So, you know, again, think how cute it would look if you used our ribbon, the gingham ribbon, with it colored orange. That would be really sweet. Of course, I probably should have used white here because it might have shown better. But anyway, you get the general idea. I think this would be super cute with a bag of candy corn inside for those that like candy corn. So anyway, that is that idea. And then anything that you you do here, you know, you can always, if let's say that you think the hole is too big or something, you're seeing too much, you can always put the opposite side direction of whatever you've cut here and put that through. So that's just kind of a, a fun way to finish this out. I appreciate you all watching and I hope that you have a great time crafting your Halloween designs for treat holders. Bye-bye.